So how you doing guys and welcome, it is Kraken here and we are back to basics in very slightly modded vanilla with feral sense of a daytime added on as well. Thank you for everyone that watched the first episode and put those comments down below, love you lots. Please make sure that you do subscribe and like to the video as well, it's free to do and it helps me out a hell of a lot. Right. Just coming up to 4 o'clock in the morning now. We've had Nance down there all night. So let's just see if we can get a cheeky headshot on her. But she won't stand bloody still. No, ah, there she is. Right. Good stuff. Right in the bum. Ooh, 50 is about somewhere as well. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! Lovely jubbly. There was a really nice deer around here as well, and I thought, well, that would be a good way to get myself some breakfast, but it looks like we're going to be eating snake. 50, where are you? Ah, there you are. We did find this good bone knife yesterday, so that will help us out. Obviously, I didn't think about um, getting a quest from the trader, which was a... Oh, hello. Oh, you came up fast. So we do have them a bit faster during the day as well. And they do keep running forward. Bastards. Oh, nice roll. Right, let's go back to the club. Lovely jubbly. Right, now I've got my bed rolled down. Yeah, I didn't take a job from the trader, so unfortunately we're going to have to wait till 6 o'clock, actually until we can um, go in there and get another job. But my plan was to grab myself a few resources while I'm out here, just so we're sorted for tonight time. So, let's get cracking. Trader Joel is now open. Right, Trader Joel has got himself finally out of bed. Right, what did I leave in here? Because I wanted to make myself some pocket mods overnight. So we do have the cloth. We've got some duct tape. So we could actually... Uh, the lever I've left in my other thing. So I'm going to have to make sure that I do pick that stuff up overnight. So that's all good. Right, let's come and get a job off you. But we're going to need to get some food as well. Ah, oh, lovely jubbly. This has now restocked. We don't have a lot of money on us. But we can get a few things now. Now we are getting slapped around quite a quite a bit. Right, that will do us for the second. Uh, we are getting slapped around quite a bit, well, so they actually money, give me quite a bit of health back. So I'm actually going to leave them for just Listen a second. Let's try what are you standing there try for? this clear and give this a quick go. Now what we can do though is go back to that poopy pear daycare. There's your there you are. There you are. I'm so used to the um, the barriers just being broken out on the traders because they don't have a trader protection on in Darkness Falls or Ravenhurst. So I'm just used to being able to go in any direction because they've all been broken out anyway. But yeah, we will go back and do that poo poo pair day can once we've done this one here. Right, we've got a sniper one here. Right, there we go. We make 762. Fantastic. Right, get myself a few bits and bobs and then we'll get the get it started. That lead I can just sell back to the trader. Right, fantastic. Where are we going here? We've got a grill. Unfortunately, not much us not much in there for us. Right. Keep our sneaky sneakies on. Right, looks like we're going to be okay in here, so let's start doing a bit of searching. Fantastic, we'll close that door. Sweet as, right, let's get ourselves some more cloth. And my food is getting proper low, so we're going to eat two of these now and we'll keep the tuna on us. Fantastic. Right, we're sn still sneaky down. Right, looks like some more cloth there. Any zombies in this room? No, we look fairly safe at the moment. Are we going to get some clothes? Yeah, we can wear a hoodie. Take the cloth. Fantastic. Washing machine. Go 
off fragments and we can scrap the boots. Now if we could find ourselves one of those college jackets or something like that, that would be very, very useful for us right now. Nice, down in one. We do have a kitchen here. Let's just see if there's any more zombies about. Right, a few things here in the kitchen then. So we did get ourselves some salmon there. Which is nice. And we've got another one of these. What can we do now? Cornbread and golden rot tea. Good stuff, good stuff. Right, I'm going to leave that food as it is. Collect a bit of this as well to give us a bit of coal. Because we are going to have to make ourselves a campfire. There's a bit more out there. Hopefully I'll remember to grab it. Or we can pick up chairs again. Well, it's been a while since we've been able to do that. We'll keep that shut for the second. Because obviously the feral sense is going to draw some zombies to us if we make too much noise in here so we don't want to be able to oh there he is so we don't want them running in from outside oh he did die off that right well there's zombie here this is a clear <clears throat> ho 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 Ooh, we're having a good day. Good day. Oh, some books here as well. Okay, so we can put a light on our bike. Not that we have one. Shotguns. Right, okay. Loza, you cheeky girl. There you go. Down you go, Loz. Thank you very much. Right. So here we go. Bit more cloth. Toilet pistol? No. No such luck. Right. What have we got going on here? So there we go. We've already got some people from outside. Should be able to leave them for just a second. Any more clothes for us? Yeah, we'll put a skirt on. Right, there's only has already detected us. Oh, there we go, Bernie boy. Oh, and Christ, he fell down. So we have still got zombies outside, so I'm not going to open those just yet. So we've got the yellow dot of death who is actually still above us. Oh, bugger me. Door's breaking out. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Right, well, we'll grab this while we're down here. Right. Our stamina is reduced because of our food. Not great. Right, let's get this couch, go through this door, and hopefully it will show us a way upstairs. Because the only way is up, apparently. Let's see if we can get our sneaky sneakies on here. It'd be very, very useful if we could. Only the one Bernie boy. Oh, there's a cracker book crate there as well. Fantastic. Right now. There we go. Go through the floor. Let him drop. Yep. Come on, you bastard. Nice. Easy as that. Right, let's go and see what we've got here. Right, another medical journal. There we go. And a steroid. That might help to get everything back to our little base. Oh, a leather hood. Right, I actually want to wear that over this scrap hood because I can sell this scrap hood. So let's take out the, um, the doofer from that because I want to keep my armor nice and light at the moment because stamina is a bit of an issue. So there we go, we can have him on. And he's actually worth 73, so that's actually pretty damn good for us. What have we got? Uh, not much ammo, and into the cracker book crate. Okay, we've got a vehicle book here. Lucky looter, find more food in loot. Well, that's definitely going to help us. And shotgun weekly. So we've got to look at making a pipe weapon as soon as we can. Right, let's get ourselves down here. 
Fantastic. I'm going to get that coal on the way out, and then we're going to get back to the trader, and then we'll look at um, grabbing another job, and hopefully it'll send us past that um, Boopy Pants daycare. Oh, jeez. Scrap them for the lever. Well, you've proved me wrong. Now, take your reward and get the hell out of here. Right, well, we've got the crafting skill bundle magazine here, or Lucky Looter 2. Find more ammunition in loot. Um, early game, I think it's going to have to be the bundle. going to have to be the bundle. I have just grabbed everything that was out of the truck. Um, so we are going to quickly take that home. Right, we'll take that job there. Now, have I got anything on me that I do actually really want to sell you? Yeah, I've got a few bits and bobs here, so let's sell you some stuff. Right, there we go. That's got us back up over to a thousand pounds, so we're going to buy some food as well while we're here. Careful out there. You wouldn't want right, now I do have... How much money have I got left? 700. So I'm going to try and keep some money on me so I can buy the cook and pot and grill. Hopefully, our oh, big hitters, fantastic. Wooden club, club two, right, fantastic. That's what we needed. There we go, we can scrap that one now. I don't know why it keeps putting my wood down there. Things have changed and I don't like it. Right, I'm going to go back to the base quickly, drop all this stuff into my crate. And then we'll head off and do that job. Right, these actually take a hundred cloth now, so I can only actually make the one of them, which is a little bit of a pain. But we've got one pocket mod on the go. All my stuff's in there. So let's get off to our next quest. Oh, we got ourselves another engine there. Fantastic. So we can sell that. I think that was worth about 200, which is all good. I say engines are not the hardest thing in the world to get, so we should be okay as long as we find ourselves a wrench. Right, midday, and we're just coming up to our next quest, which was a fetch, I believe. Oh, good, I thought it was going to be that one for a second. How are we doing, love? Right, let my stamina build back up. There you go, knock you down. Gives me time to build my stamina back up. Ooh, that's not useful. But that is. Well, that crawl will take a while to get to us. Fantastic. Let's just get it started. Get on with it. It is already midday. Vitamin, very nice. BDU bottoms, very nice, so we can scrap them, get ourselves a bit more cloth. Now what I do not like is there's probably going to be a dog in here. I think he can actually make it up here, which is a bit of an issue. There we go, down you go. Oh, oh yeah. Right, I don't think the crawler's going to be able to make it up here, which is a bonus. Nice. Right, we're hungry again. It's no good because I don't have any food on me. Oh, you cheeky bugger. Ooh, flapping turkeys. Oh, there's a few of them as well. Oh, there's one inside. Leave him to it for the second. There we go, we've got a hunting one there. Nice! Oh, perfect, there's our skill point. Right, so straight back into strength, Pummel Pete level 2. Right, that should make a real big, real big difference for us. Right, there we go, a hunting one. Scrubs, there you are. Don't really want to be fighting both of you, but it doesn't look like I've got much of a choice. Ooh, nearly, nearly, nearly. 
Fantastic. Right, let me sort this kitchen out. Right, few things in the kitchen, not too much so eat that one. We can read this one here. Fantastic. And the best thing about this is we've just got ourselves a cooking pot. So that's just saved us 600 dukes. Right, and there is our satchel. The worst comes to the worst. We have to bail. We will bail. Right, anything in here for us? Toilet pistol? No. Right, somebody's making a bit of a ruckus out here. Is it just you? Yeah. I love these new doors. Much better than all the tents they added. Right, we've got a couple of zombies to sort out here. Come on. Careful of this one over here as well. Always oh, two in this one. All right, shut that door. Try and get a few bit of damage done off these. Stamina is low. We've got actually got three in here. Nice. And bait yourself into a corner, Kraken. You know what you like. And out you get. Right, let's get one of those bandages on as well. Right, that's her sorted. Right, I still want to get the main loot in here, but we've got plenty of space out here, so we should be okay. Right, moat, you're down. Stamina. Come back. Fantastic, what a find this has been. Right, so we've got some lucky Lulu goggles here, plus three, and we've got the college jacket here. Increased run speed by 10%. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Right, I haven't got a shovel on me yet, so I can't check what that is. Right, into this one here. No toilet pistol for us this time. few more bits and bobs there and the final loot. Now we don't have any lock picks so that isn't so great for us. Uh, Magnum and Force to do 10% more damage with 44s. Oh there we go so we're getting our um, getting our decent bandages back again. Another vehicle book. That one we can sell so we can actually make bicycles now. Uh, we'll probably keep hold of that wheel. Fantastic. Right. Now I do want to make myself a shovel. Because I haven't made one yet. Uh, plant fibers. And the weather's gone to shit. Let's get myself some plant fibers. Now if I remember correctly, these farm plots here, you used to be able to pick up. So we'll just give this a quick go because there's quite a few here. And if we can... Hmm. No. Just soil and stuff now. Hmm, real shame. Real shame. Right, where's my trader? There he is. Trader wrecked, I'm coming back to you. Well, looky here, boys. We got ourselves a real life hero, and now he wants to be paid. Trader wreck, right, this one's actually quite a interesting one because we've got, we haven't got a pipe machine gun yet, but I could... I've got glue there, so I could actually make myself a pipe machine gun. So grabbing the ammo and getting a get out of jail free card would probably be the way to go. I think duct tape would also be really useful. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go with that, I think. Uh, what have you got here? So it's going to have to be that there. But So how close are we to making a pipe machine gun? 
Right, pipe machine gun. Right, we've actually got everything for it. So we can actually put that one there. Scrap you, and we can repair you. Fantastic. Where's my pipe machine gun gone? There it is. Is it still 15 bullets? 15 rounds, so not amazing, but it will really help us out. Right. Few bits here to sell trader wreck, so let's do that. Fantastic. Right, back up to 1600 dukes. What have you got for sale? Some red tea. I haven't got any more food for me. He does actually have duct tape for sale. It is 75 each. Thanks, buddy. Right, let me get myself a few more bits of food. Fantastic. Right, we are going to quickly dump this off home, but I haven't actually checked out his little cabins over here. Just, just have a little, little looks in there. Nothing on that one. There we go. We've got some food in this one. When we saw our parkour, we can actually jump up the top. Right, that's everything for that. Let me dump this off at home, and then we'll jump to this final quest. Because I think our little base should be all right for another night or two. What a little base it is. Right, there we go. Just managed to make another storage um, pocket mod here. So now we've got one on this college jacket, which is going to really, really help us out because it does increase our run speed. Right, six o'clock in the evening, and we're actually going out in a we're going slightly different. We're going right to the edge of town now. Right to the far edge. Hopefully we'll find some deers. I'm picking up as many birds as I can. Hopefully try and get some eggs. So we haven't seen quite as many zombies today, but then we haven't been in the centre of town. We have been keeping ourselves to ourselves on the edges, which is probably the safest way to go, because we did take a bit of a kick in yesterday. There we go, there's another egg. Nice. Cool, killed her in one. I like a bit of that. So like I say, we are playing with a really, really small uh, forest biome. So we it's so small. There's the snow biome right next to us. It's only 8% of the entire map. There we go, some more glue. Do you have a letterbox at all? Grab that coal at the end. Right, this is where we start. Tools, very nice. Get you started again. Just some paper this time. Right, let's get some water inside us before we go in there. There we go, we'll take two of those. And we'll repair you. Fantastic. A bit more cloth for us. There we go. There's a bit more coal as well. There's loads out here, but we need to get in and get this started. Down into the basement. You know, fighting in the basement offers a lot of difficulties. Number one being, you're fighting in the basement. Nice. Lovely. Right, is there going to be another one in that closet over there? Not today. Nice. Kraken's got his shit together today. They call me Robin Hood of Loxley. Oh, some nice repair kits as well. Level 2 wrench. Right, when we get some forged iron and stuff together, we can actually 
and make ourselves that wrench because that'd be very useful right half seven at night but we can sell later today because we already have the world's best base waiting for us so it's all good and we will get that campfire built tonight as well Ooh, do i have any food right the world's most useless kitchen here right, there's one more we can do here that we're standing on this stuff now if i remember correctly this place does have a big mama that falls from the ceiling right another bernie boy nice i don't know if there's anybody in there so let's just have a quick little look doesn't look like it but we'll take it with caution Oh, another home cooking lovely there we go so we can do boiled meat and yucca juice well we do have some meat that's good check this and i am going to oh yes scrap that repair that take the corner as well quickly go and check to see if we've got a toilet pistol no okay up we go right oh really nice really really nice there we go and we'll repair that one no we've got no stones left my stones at home right now big mama normally oh it's not a big mama today nice lovely jubbly right is there any more loot around this way i don't think so so normally you've got to jump around probably the easiest way to go now it is already nine o'clock so we are going to be running back of a night time which means we probably will not make it to the trader right what have we got here oh some padded armor so we'll wear that eat that batter up here we go do 10 10 percent more damage with clubs fantastic right there we go we've got another first aid kit and they're becoming very very handy at the moment working stiff tools okay another tool book there we go stone tools level three and now i just need to go down and actually find where this um where this actual chest is because i don't know there we go and we've got the satchel so a bit of a pain in the ass to get to but it is 10 to 9 so we're gonna have to get the hell out of here and run back towards our base but like i say the one bonus we have got is that feral sense is not on of a night time right there we go guys so i've just got every, got myself back home got everything sorted out i'm going to crouch on down so i've got my food and medical stuff over here and i've got all my other gubbins just over here one thing that i have done to make my life just a little bit easier i one of the mods i did put on was the craft from containers so i can actually do everything from in here so we've now got our um campfire sorted i'm actually going to yeah, make myself some boiled eggs and I should be able to do some water, I believe. Or do I have any, um, hello? Oh, improved hordes, yep. So we've actually got ourselves 10 murky water here. Can we turn that into real water? Let's just have a quick little check. Yeah, there we go. So we'll make ourselves up some water as well. The other mod that I do have in, which is quite a nice, useful one, is the efficient fuel so when this is finished doing all its crafting so we do have a hundred hours in there when that is finished doing its crafting it will automatically turn off so you can that's going to take like 12 13 minutes in to do all of that it will just turn off and i'll still have 86 minutes left in there guys as always big thumbs up on the video any comments put those down below you guys have a cracking day and i'll catch you in the next episode, take it easy.